Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the buy side has been in firm control, but ES is set to open near the 88.75 to 90.75 resistance zone, which marks the upper edge of the recent four to five day balance area. So this is a important inflection point and how the market responds to the initial resistance zone and the pre-market support zone is going to provide a nice tell in terms of establishing our intraday bias. So heading into the open, our overnight bias is clearly bullish. The larger time frame bias is bullish as well, but our short term bias continues to be neutral because so far the market is still trading within a balance and within the range established over the last five to six days. Now, if off the open, we're seeing a lot of upside momentum and continued broad market strength and the market can put in a breakout above 88.75 to 90.75, then we'll get some level of time frame alignment since the larger time frame bias is bullish and the overnight bias is bullish. So if we can break out beyond 88.75 to 90.75, at that point in time, our intraday bias would be bullish as well. And then we can easily tag 94.5 to 96.5 and probably even the 98 all time high. And if we're heading up on some strong momentum, then the market can even make a fresh all time high, given that NASDAQ has already been doing that for the last several days. On the other hand, if we're seeing a strong rejection and complete failure at 88.75 to 90.75, then we need to exercise some caution on the long side since the market is still technically stuck in a balance. The aggressive area of support is 85 to 86. And if we're going to put in a strong upside breakout, then ideally you want to see the market holding even above the aggressive area of support. And you want to see that overnight trend continue to hold and then put in a continuation move higher. A break below 85 to 86 would be a bit of a warning sign. 81 half to 83 half is still technically valid support, but we do have to see how the market approaches that area and how the underlying internals are shaping up and whether the profit target off of initial support still provides enough of a reward potential to justify going long there. And then below that, the 75 half to 78 is really the key support because it marks the bottom of the recent short term balance area. And that's the spot that buyers really have to defend if this balance area is going to continue to remain intact. So again, heading into the open, our overnight bias is clearly bullish. And if we can continue to see bullish signals on the day time frame in real time, and we're seeing a breakout take place above the initial resistance zone, then we want to be cautious on the short side and go with the move because at that point there will be some level of time frame alignment setting up. And from there we can go up into 94 half to 96 half, test 98, and then maybe even make a fresh all time high. Now beyond 98, there is no hard resistance, but given the recent ranges, ES would get quite exhausted and hit a range extreme at 2406 to 2408. So with our short term bias being neutral, we do need to continue to be quite nimble and flexible with our intraday bias and understand that in order for a sustained breakout to take place, we are going to have to see sustained upside momentum with a tick holding above zero and printing some decent values and ideally participation from the other markets as well. Looking at the Russell, if it can break out above roughly 95 half to 99, then it would serve as another confirmation that the buyers are indeed in control and that would help the upside in the S&P as well. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see how ES responds to 88.75 to 90.75 and 85 to 86. Those are the two zones that are going to help us establish our intraday bias and we'll take it from there.